Two people have been hospitalized after a fire truck slammed into a light rail tram in Sydney's CBD. Pitt Street and Eddy Avenue were closed after the collision caused the tram to be derailed about 10. 40 This morning. A woman in her 70s on board the tram suffered chest and rib injuries and was taken to St. Vincent's Hospital in a stable condition, NSW Ambulance said. Read more, RBA tipped for supersized cash rate increase The fire truck had lights and sirens on at the time of the crash as it was responding to a critical incident. One of the officers on board has been taken to the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital for minor injuries. Three others were treated on the scene. Read more, artificial intelligence won an art contest, and artists are furious and swambulance inspector Ben Saywell said it was lucky no one was seriously injured. NSW ambulance paramedics were initially called to treat five patients, he said. Three people were assessed by paramedics and didn't require any further treatment, while two people were taken to hospital. This occurred in a really busy part of the CBD with a lot of pedestrians, so we're thankful that no one was seriously injured. The tram sustained major damage and could take in up to six hours to remove. Light rail services are not running between Central and Circular Quay on the L2 Randwick and L3 Kingsford lines, 